What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday and today we have another article website working with us. Um, and that's actually Flipside Gaming. And if you don't know, Flipside Gaming is down below. They actually have a promo code where if you buy stuff for them you get a discount. And then also I get a little percentage of that as well. So if you ever want to support the channel and buy cards, use Flipside Gaming. Use the promo code Fish Knuckles. I'm pretty sure what it is. It's down below. Just copy. I think it's Fish Knuckles if I remember correctly. Um, and you just copy it when you check out in and it makes you get like 10% off or something. I think you have to spend at least $10. I can't remember. I know you have to spend $10. And I think you get the, the details are down in the description. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. Uh, but thank you to Flipside Gaming, and uh, they have some articles as well on their website. So today, what we're looking at is their Stockataka Nagala. I don't. Y'all are about to get so mad at me. Nagandal, Nagandel, Nagan, Nagandel, Nagandel. I don't know. Look, I look, 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 look. Naga Nadel, Naga Nadel. That's what we're going. Naga Nadel. I don't look. Whatever. That's the Pokemon playing today. It's an older card, but he's got a new friend, Stockataka. All these dang Ultra Beast Pokemon I've never seen before. I don't even know who the heck these are. Uh, but we're playing like a toolbox of it. Yep, that's what we're doing today. So <clears throat> Naga Del has the attack Beast Raid, and this is going to be our main attack. You're going to notice there's only Metal Energies in here, so we really can't use anything else outside of that. But Beast Raid, this attack does 20 damage for each of your Ultra Beasts in play. So if you have 6 Ultra Beasts, you do 120 damage, which is enough to start 2 shotting stuff. And you may be thinking, why does it matter? Your guys that take a knockout as well. With Staka Taka, Staka, Staka Taka GX. He has the ability, uh, as the ability Ultra Ball. Your Ultra Beasts take ten less damage from each, uh, from your opponent's attack. So if you have like three Stakatakas, you do you take thirty less damage, which is fantastic. It could um, maybe change the numbers. I don't know the numbers would have changed. I don't know how all of a sudden it became a good deck. I don't. I guess Stakatakas is really good. Like just Ultra Ball is broken. I guess I'm not sure how the numbers really work out. But it's a really hyped deck. Like people are like hyping up worlds. They think it's really good. So we're gonna play it and see what it's like. Uh, it has Gigaton Stop, 120, and a symbol of GX. This attack does 50 more damage for each price card you have taken. It's an okay GX attack. Now it is like a toolbox deck. It's got a bunch of toolbox here. Oh, also, Nagadale has Stinger GX. Both players shuffle their price cards into their decks. Then each player puts the top three cards of their deck face down as their price cards. So if you're about to lose, you can make your opponent have three price cards. Mmm. All right, so we got uh, three Stakataka. We have one Dustmane across from GX. It's got that Meteor Tempest to do 220, and it's got Sun Eclipse GX to do 250. All right, so that's a good attack, right? St Meteor Tempest is definitely the attack or think I want to power up here for sure. Um, so it actually plays a Dustmane across with a promo one. I don't have one. Um, if you don't know, the demo accounts don't have promos on it for some reason. So Pokemon, if you're watching this, hook us up. Uh, but as Dust Shot does six damage to when your opponent's GX or EX or Rusty Claws, it does a hundred. If your opponent has exactly one price card remaining, this attack does a hundred more. Uh, we're actually gonna cut this and instead play, I guess, two of the Dust Main Necrozma. I guess uh, two Celesteela GX. It's got Rocket Fall uh, thirty, and this attack does thirty more damage for each colors in your opponent's active retreat cost and Moon Press. So it's one hundred thirty. Blaster GX with 180. Uh, Blaster GX, probably your best GX out of all these. This one, you're down on price cards. Simple GX could be used. Um, if you like taking four price cards, you can use a Simple GX, and that could pretty much end your game. Um, Stinger GX is really not good at all. And there's also a Celesteela, which is an Ultra Beast. It has Moonraker. The total, uh, total of all players' cards, each card is exactly six. Uh, this tech can be used for a single Metal Energy. Uh, so yeah, if both price cards are exactly 6, you can use this and maybe take a knockout out of somewhere. Do 160 damage, maybe take a knockout. Really cool card, I think, for sure. Uh, see if, it's, if, your opponent, if, if you and your opponent, exactly 6 cards, so if they have 2 and you have 4, ta-da, there we go. If they have 1 you have 5, ta-da, Moonreaker can be used for 1 Metal Energy. It's a pretty cool thing, for sure. And 1 Lele for consistency, but there's a bunch of supporter cards in here, which is why we don't play a lot of Lele's. And because we're Ultra Beast. So we're playing Ultra Beast, decks, Ultra Beast decks. Of course, we're using Beast String. Where if you have three or four price cards remaining, you can use this to search it for two base niche cards and attach them to your Ultra Beast. Alrighty, so of course, this is how we're going to power Pokemon. Uh, they take a knock on a knock -a whoever. You can use Beast String, start pounding for guys, and uh, be good to go from there. It's kind of weird because you're like kind of deciding when do you want your guy to get knocked out. 
Uh, two Pibblor. Okay, get our abilities. Three Max Potion. Now, this deck is this is really good because uh, uh, Nagadell just needs one energy attack with Beast Ray. So, really strong combo there. Uh, two Mysterious Treasure to get a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon. It's because you're playing four, three uh nagadell so you get those out and two ultra ball it might seem low but you're playing three ultra space which um you searching for ultra base reveal it put into your hand so this is a stage it could be like the stage one or the basic both the the popo poipo poipo popo oh my goodness why do they have these hard names to say uh both can be searched out by the ultra space and one Supra to get back your energies, of course, when you're max pushing away that stuff. So four Cynthia, three Guzma, three and four Sycamore, three Choice Man do additional 20 damage. I like this a lot, especially with the Moonraker. You do 190. I uh, start taking some knockouts. Uh, two Flowstone for free retreat. A lot of these guys do have a hefty retreat cost. All right, uh, one Beast Energy. So our Ultra Beast do additional 30 more damage. All right, and three DC and seven Metal Energies. I think like. Um, Claw Sash, I guess, could be used. I think it's more for, like, the Rocket Fall kind of thing and, like, Moon Press and stuff like that. Um, that's what I think it's could be used for. So, yeah, there we go. Flipside Gaming went into more detail about these decks as well. So, if you want to look into that, I'll have the article down below where you can read it. Um, we can check out the, the list. It is free, so you can check that out pretty easily, uh, which I do like. Also, if you're a... If you're an article website and you want me to review some of your decks, let me know. If you want me to show them off on the channel and show how good your creators are, we'll show them off. Uh, so there we go. Got that, that, that. Press save. All right. So we're going to play three games with this Nagadell thingy my bobber. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll find out here today. So we will go to standard first off. So let's go to standard. Let's scroll all the way to the left. I still have yet to find out how to delete all these at one time. So let's go play Nagadell. And the only thing it's really worried about is Psychic, uh, which is like Garbodor, which is kind of bad because it's kind of getting hyped up, of course, since it won. Hey, speaking of Psychic, there we go. <clears throat> but this might be a Greninja deck, actually, with like an Espeon tech in there. And that's what I'm thinking. So, call hits. All right, so we won the coin flip, which is great. We are stage one, so we need time to attack uh, get set up. Sorry for the clicking. I was getting ready for notifications. So, <clears throat> we'll press done. We'll put the Popo out, Popo, whatever his name is. Put down a Stakataka and press done. Alrighty, so I'm gonna save the Mysterious Treasure, of course. We can use Ultra Space to get another little Popo got out. Alright, if Mulligan won. Is this expanded still? Did I not switch it? This is Archie's story. I'm gonna be so mad at myself for not switching uh, things. Alright, so two Pokemon now. And yeah, we'll drop a Mulligan, of course. So there's a B string, press done. Eevee and a Remoraid. So it's an Aspion Garboder deck, is what it looks like. <clears throat> okay, so we'll use Ultra Space. We'll use Ultra Space uh, to get out one of these things. So getting the, these guys out, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, we'll put that thing down. I kind of want to put down the, the Dust Main. Um, I like Dust Main a lot just because like, you can power Meteor Tempest, even though it needs four energies. I think it's really strong a B string. I could be wrong though. Uh, put down this guy, and then we're gonna. Mm, we could attach, but I'm scared of E hammer, so I'm just gonna press done right now. <laughs> All right, so our opponent's turn. We can ultra space for like another Sakataka, and then we take 20 less damage. Here we go. A water energy. It's actually a Glaceon deck. Gonna shut down our GX and EX abilities. Oh no, it's not. Well, Espeon actually be terrible. What am I talking about? Espeon, we would just lose. So, a Nest Ball for another Eevee. Now, the only problem is we don't have a supporter card in hand. So, is there fr what is going on right now? Am I just that down, down? Am I just that down in Pokemon land right now? All right, this card's a bunch. Yeah, it's Greninja GX. All right, that's not good. It's not good at all. Huh. Especially since Takataka doesn't work when Glaceon's active. Okay, so we can Ultra Space for another... Stock Ataka, so we can fill our bench up. All right, we'll put down Stock Ataka. We'll put a this here. Well, Mysterious should just cut the Ultra Ball, grabbing a Nagadell. So put that Nagadell. Uh, we'll put down the Celestela GX. Stood in 120, 150. We can do 180, uh, but not enough for a knockout. We got another one of these as well, which is very nice. And we got a Floatstone for next turn. So put down the other Nagadell. 
And uh, we'll swing for 150 damage. There we go. Turn to 150. All right. So under our opponent's turn, that's a pretty good turn, right? I think so. I think it's a good turn. All right. So 150 coming down. Um, he is weak to steel. So is, is Greninja GX weak to steel? Oh, weak to grass, unfortunately. All right. Eevee, Octo. Okay. Uh, Greninja coming down. Going to use that ability. Going to put two damage counters on somebody. Where would that damage go? To the active, of course. Water to the bench, Eevee. It looks like he's just going to sacrifice the active and saying, hey, you're going to knock it out, whatever. I don't care. That's fine. All right. So, <clears throat> see another Glaceon coming to line. Does this guy have three? Okay. If we could find one energy, we could be stringer to Stakataka when this is knocked out. And then this could take a knockout of Glaceon. And then we just have to find a way to take our last couple prize cards. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see what else. Sorry, Snapchat guys. Go follow down below Snapchat marking twenty-two. All right. So there's a flood. So going to the oh Octo. Okay. And a Guzma. Gonna bring up our Stakataka. Gonna set up the Octo. Who's he gonna retreat into? Is he gonna send the Glaceon up and we just smack him in the face? He is. All right. So Glaceon pass onto our turn. Well, we will Floatstone. We will use Ultra Space just to grab Pokemon, just to thin our deck. So grab a Dustmane, Necrozma. Uh, we will retreat into the Stakataka and, or not Stakataka, the Nagadel, and do another 150 damage. This would be good if we had the promo, um, well, I guess we only do 30, we only do 50, so that's not enough, actually. So that's unfortunate. Alright, so a Greninja GX coming out. I'm going to do that and put, uh, what, three? So we have 50. There's no way Frost Bullet can knock us out, but Polar Spear GX can knock us out, actually. Yeah. All right, so the DC's active, and we might see a, a Polar Spear GX for the knockout. So Cynthia, if he does this, I'm definitely going to um, ult, uh, B-String onto Celesteela and power it up, and then he can take two knockouts pretty easily on these both these Glaceons. So yeah, there's a Polar Spear GX. Taking the knockout, doing 250. We luckily have B-String in. Oh, no, hold on. We actually don't swing with this because B-String only gets two. Oh, no. Oh, what a top deck. All right, so B-String getting two medals. Attach it to Celesteela. We'll put an energy here. We'll Ultra Space, thin our deck out again. We'll grab a, another thingy about her. Sure. We will retreat into the Celesteela. And we will Rocket Fall for the knockout, doing plenty of damage because uh, he's weak to steel. So, yeah, they've got 180 damage. Go down to four prize cards. We find a Super Rod and a Max Potion. Okay, this card's pretty irrelevant. Here comes Octo. One thing I could be worried about, if he goes for Guzma, he could Guzma up somebody. But we do have Max Potion to stay alive for a couple turns. Double Froakie hitting the field as well. Okay. Um, D Is he going to attack with Glaceon again? Hmm. Because he... Well, unless he plays... Uh, he probably plays Aquapatch. Never mind. Alright, so we tax with Glaceon. I hope we have uh, a way to find us. We haven't played a single sport of cards outside of this end, and we're still doing fairly okay. That's just how good B-String is. Uh, so Ultra Ball discarding water, something else. Will we see a Tapu Lele come down? And, uh, okay, nope, no Tapu Lele. Maybe he already has a hand or something. Because the only thing I could think of really, if he goes for Guzma here, and there's an N. Good, 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 good. That's good cards for us. All right, so let's see what do we find here. So metal, mysterious treasure, still nothing, unfortunately. All right, so choice bin to the um, Glaceon GX. So we're gonna see the Glaceon. We're gonna see Frostbow do 120, 30, 40, 50, 60. I mean, potentially he could take a knockout depending what this Gla if this Glorinja gets powered next turn. So there's a Frost Bullet, okay. I think the correct play is to put an energy on Stakataka and try to, or put an energy on this Stakataka and try to take a knockout because we can do 230 next turn, um, potentially. So 90 and uh, 120 and 30, okay, onto our turn. What do we top deck? There's a DCE, all right, so we will ultra, uh, we'll use this to grab a Stakataka. <clears throat> we'll put down the Stakataka. We'll put a metal energy on the stock on the other on this one of these Takatakas. And we'll just go for Rocket Fall. 
All right, so take a knockout here. So my opponent needs double. F Naturally, he just needs a energy and um, a DC and an aqua patch, right? Maybe we should have field blow that flush away a long time ago that he has in hand right now. That probably would have been a little smarter, Josh, just to let you know if you didn't know that. Hmm, how do we deal with this Greninja? Does he have a DCE and an Aqua Patch? He has four, okay, so 110. Yeah, that'd be enough for knockout. So it's Hyman Ball, Tails, and Head. So he's gonna find a, at least a Greninja here. A Frogadier, sorry, so Frogadier come down, okay. Hmm. Maybe we just like put an energy on Stakataka, send up the Stakataka with the Floodstone. Ultra Ball, discard Mysterious Chest, something else. Super Rods, Metal Energy is back in the deck. And then with Cynthia. And then hopefully he can't one-shot one of our Stock Atakas. Alright, so Frogadier come down. Okay, 22 that guy. So basically we need to find a Max Potion. So double Frogadier come down. Going to put another 20 damage on the on the Nogadale. Okay. Um, actually, uh, with 10, 100... 90, 80. Oh, it's still a Zact. Man, if we have one more stock attack, he actually wouldn't be taking a knockout unless he has a choice band or damage as one of the Frogadiers. So, Ultra Ball discarding a Lily and something else. Grabbing nothing. We're going to see Octo for four. Alright, does he find a DCE and a um, and an Aqua Patch? That's two cards he needs here. So, there's a DCE. Ultra Ball. Okay. Discards a Guzma, something else. There's a Lele. Oh man, Lele will probably get him a Sycamore. I doubt he goes in here. Um, in will seem pretty crazy. So it Lele coming down. <gasps> oh man, you know what we could have done last turn, guys? Is we could have um. Well, never mind. He has a higher tree cost. Never mind. That's silly. Silly. I was gonna say maybe we could attack with the with the other Celestia. Because, well, we had eight prize cards. Never mind. We have six now. We have six now. We could use that this turn. Um, but that's not going to work. So, Cynthia gets six new cards. Does he find the Aqua Patch or not? I feel like if he doesn't, we have game. I'm pretty sure. I could be crazy, but I think we have game if he doesn't have this here. Did he find an Aqua Patch? He hasn't yet to play a single Aqua Patch. Yeah, that's right. No Aqua Patch haven't played. Okay. Alright, there's an Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from his hand. Let's see what two cards. He discards a Bridget and a Sycamore. Okay. Let's see here. What does he got? What's he got for us? Maybe another Froakie. Maybe a Grenade for next turn. Um. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, looks like he got nothing. Okay. Man, Super Eye doesn't get anything right now. If we, so we probably just Ultra Ball that way. I have a couple things we can do this turn if he doesn't take a knockout. Um, Blaster GX could, well, it could knock out the Lele, but we have no Guzman in hand. So we talked about Guzman, we could Blaster GX to knock out that guy. <gasps> Greninja. Alright, so he whiffed. Okay, ooh, a Sycamore top deck. Alright, so Ultra Space. Just get a Pokemon over deck, so we'll just grab... Um, this guy is pretty useless. Um, we'll do this. Well, we're, we're just discard a whole hand, I think. We're gonna try to discard all the Pokemon of our deck that we don't need. Like, we don't need this guy. So, we'll grab that Ultra Ball. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. All right, but I mean, I think why he gave up is he pretty much knew we had the game. Like, I was just like, Ultra Ball, discard those two, grab a Popol, Popol, whatever the heck it's called, and then discard my hand with Sycamore. I would attach a DCE to the, um, <clears throat> to the Sakataka with one energy, and then we would have got powered up, and then we could have took a knockout next turn, no matter what, um, because we had four prize cards remaining, so Sakataka would have took a knockout. So I guess that's the good thing with this deck is you do have like Stagataka does have that ability which is going to like basically say hey you do less damage to me but now have this really really good GX stack for three energies like okay I've taken enough price cards I'm gonna use my Stagataka GX and just boom take a knockout so it's pretty nifty right there so T Pills playing a Rayquaza deck 
So the question is, will Rayquaza beat us or not? Is it fast enough to take us down? We did win the coin flip. So yes, that is very important because we are a stage one deck. So, um, we got a Celesteela, which is weak to lighting, which are, he could play Zerkatry, which is, um, could be problematic. We'll press done. <clears throat> Let's see. So there's Rayquaza. So Ultra Space, Ultra Space for the, this thingy. We'll put this thing, this thing, and we'll Cynthia for a new hand of six. Let's see what do we find here. I want to find one. Okay, there we go. Look at there. All right, put this thing down, and we'll press done. Now, what we most likely would do is use Ultra Space, find another, like a Sakataka, put a Metal G maybe on somebody, maybe a Max Potion attach a Metal on Retreat or something. Um, i got to do 180 damage, which is possible. It is very possible. Beast, Re Beast Energy... Plus, Choice Band can one-shot a Rayquaza, which is pretty nice. Um, outside of that, we can use maybe the Stuckataka GX attack. Um, Celesteela GX attack can take a knock on it as well. Oh, he's playing the Garbodor deck! Yes! Yes! He's playing Garbodor deck! I think this is the best version of Rayquaza. Yes! Oh my goodness. We actually played this deck last Monday, showing it off. So there's another Rayquaza coming down. He's going to do his Rayquaza thing. He's going to start discarding some discarding stuff out of his deck. Trying to power multiple Rayquazas. He's already done one Max Elixir. There's an Ultra Ball. Um, discards a Guzma and a Grass Energy. So he has a lot of energies in Discard Pile. There's a Lele. I guess he just wants to guarantee a supporter card for next turn. So Lele for Sycamore or Cynthia or something like that. Let's see what he decides to get with this guy. Hmm... So there's a Cynthia. Now, the, the problem with Rayquaza is once it's powered up, like, he's going to do a ton of damage so quickly. Uh, he's got plenty of energies in the discard pile. Grass is going to Rayquaza. Um, right now, he's doing 60. So, Field Blower, get rid of our Ultra Space. No Stock Attack coming down. And there's a Tempest GX. Go ahead and discard a... Why would he grab the Cynthia then? Just a Tempest. Okay. So, at this point, we're in a... I get a Pickle. So, I'm put down Choice Band. I'm going to... I'm going to Lele for N and just in his hand. Because um, I don't want him to have that. I do not want him to have 10 cards in his hand. So grab that. And uh, we'll just play in. We could attach a metal, but I'm going to wait to attach something else as a Celesteela. There's a Stockataka, so we can put down Stockataka. And we'll just have to pass here, unfortunately. So yeah, put down Stockataka. We'll press done. On to our opponent's turn. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, the problem with this deck is these guys have heavy retreat costs, so you have to find a float stone. Uh, some mysterious treasure. Going to find a Trubbish here, most likely. Alright, there's a Trubbish coming down. Try and get that Garbage online so our stock of Takas don't stack, which is very, very good for him to do. So Trubbish, Float Stone, uh, another Equaza, discarding another Max Luxor, and the other Garbodor. Alright, so he's down two Max Luxors, two Garbodors. Uh, there's a Sycamore, and discarding more stuff. Okay. He's got to find a super rod. So they a lightning energy under Rayquaza. Pass on to our turn. What top deck? Okay, and Mysterious Treasure. That's actually really good. So Mysterious Treasure, um, discarding the um, Field Blower to grab the Nagadale. I'm going to put down the Nagadale. I'm going to Guzma break up his Rayquaza and smack it. All right. So send that up, send this up. It's turned out in 20, 40, 60, 8, 19, 11. Uh, which will allow us to two-shot it. So, a Beast Raid. Okay. Do it 110. <clears throat> On to our opponent's turn. So, right now he's doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Uh, okay. Wish for Baton. That's a card I did not include in the list. And a second more. So, he needs to find some more stuff here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay. Latios Star coming down. Max Elixir. And energy to Equaza, okay. Pal pad, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay, so not a knockout. And so, yeah, so we're going to survive here, which is very, very good for us. Alright, so into our turn, we will max push in the active. I'm actually going to put the DC in the active so we don't miss a, a turn of attacking. And then Cynthia. I'm looking for another stock attack here. Mm, we got a B string for next turn, but he does take a knockout. So a B string for the knockout. Oh no, I should have. Oh, I should have wished for a baton. No. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, okay. 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 Misplay. 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 Josh. Misplay. Josh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So you keep all of his energies. Oh my goodness, Josh. You could have. You could have got rid of all those. I was playing too fast, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't get mad, guys. We got this. All right. So my plan is. I don't know yet. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, two, ten, uh, two hundred. So he's not taking a knockout just yet. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. He has not taken a knockout just yet. So the stretcher is going to be at the Garbodor, and this is going to allow him to take a knockout here. Yeah. So those guys come into his hand. He already lilied? Man, yeah, dang. Dang, oh, we got field board in, Josh. All right, so Max looks here. Okay, going to fail it. Uh, he has six cards left, so Rayquaza coming up. Okay. We'll see Dragon Break for the knock. Oh, actually, he didn't put down the garb. Because <gasps> he shuffled him into his deck. Oh, my goodness. Misplayed by my opponent now. Okay. Um. So we get a Float Stone. Ultra Ball. Discarding. Um. In and Sycamore. To find another Nogadel. We'll put it on the Nogadale. We'll put a Metal Energy on this guy. And there we go. He had Gar. He could have just stretchered for the Garb in his hand, but he misplayed there. Oh, back to back misplays, but my misplay wasn't as bad as his. We were going to flow stone retreat. Um, Cynthia trying to find a max from the bench guy. Moving to the Stakataka. We were going to field blower that turn to get rid of his float stones, and we would have been living large. My goodness. We should have won that game no matter what. There we go. My opponent just didn't go off on that Rayquaza deck, and and Nagadel stuck to Stakataka was able to take down. I think probably one of the better decks in the format right now. And here we go. Only game number three. It looks like we're playing against a Buzzwall deck. All right. So call heads like always, and we lost a coin flip. But can we go three for three for today, please, Pokemon? We haven't gone for three for three in a long time. All right. So we got the Dustmane across. We got Celesteela. I'm going to start Celesteela. He does have Fighting Resistance. It's probably the better of the two. I'm going to press it done. I don't want to put down the Dustmane and let it get hurt right now. So there's he at the Yanti. Like I said, we have Fighting Resistance. And with the Stakatakas, we can use that. Uh, that's not really useful for us. It's not useful for us. Oh, man. Was he playing Garb? I don't know. So there's a Zygarde coming down, actually. Okay, Zygarde, Nest Ball. Okay, interesting. Let's see if the nest ball gets some. There's a buzz wall. Okay. There's another nest ball. Okay, plenty of nest balls here. Is this post rotation? I don't know what cards survive post. What is this? A different Zygarde? Hmm. Okay. My opponent has the advantage, so I'm really curious as to what we're playing against. What are we playing against here today, guys? All right. Uzma. So, well, Brickle Hill. So, 2-2. Two, two. Three Ultra Space. Two Floodstone. Five. Okay. So, we have one of these guys' prize. How many max potions? We have all of our max potions. Okay. Is the other... The other Necrozma's in here. Alright, so... What about Super Rod? Okay, so press done. So, we have a, a, a thing here. Do we just Sycamore, just discard our hand, and try to set up here? I'm going to put down the Celesteela, and then I think I'm just going to sick more, actually. Yeah, I'm going to sick more here. Just discard my hand. I need to draw more cards. Okay, so we got the Stagataka. We got Ulch Ball. We can discard one and two for a Poipo, Popo, whatever heck this guy's name is. We'll grab this. We'll put this down, and we'll press done. I just, want to, I just want to use Moonraker once. It sounds so cool. I really just want to pull that off somehow. Alright, so there's a, a Reg Rock come down. I don't know what we're playing against here, but if we lose, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be so honest with you guys. So discard the Beast Ring in Brooklyn Hill. Okay, there's a Don Wings Necrozma GX. Okay. Alright. So, uh, strong is that strong energy or beast energy? Beast Energy. Oh, man, I should have feel more of the Brooklyn Hill way, Josh. Jeez, you're so bad at this game today. There's no need. Yeah, I 100% should have just feel more of the Brooklyn Hill way. I mean, he got a Regirock with it. I mean, I don't know what the heck the Regirock's going to do. 
whatever. So sends this guy and sends him to Boswell to Sledgehammer. Right now does three, six. Oh, he's going to Land Pulse actually for 30. Okay. Um, We're just going to Cynthia here. Get a new hand of six. We'll put down that guy. We'll Ultra Space. Ultra Space for another uh, Stakataka. Um, you know, I'm just going to grab this guy so we can try to set up two of these. So grab this, put this down, put a Metal G here, and we'll just press done. Um, not the strongest of turns. I will say that for sure, but, um, we take 30 less damage. Like, he gets Cell Storm this turn. He can't really use his Buzzwall because Nogadale is just going to blow it up. It would just do too much damage. So that's why he's not attacking with it. So there's a Skyla, okay. What's Skyla get him? A choice band? A float stone? Oh, there we go. Hey, man, I'm so smart at Pokemon. All right, so choice band, the active, okay. Uh, Buzzwell GX coming out with the, uh, the Ultra Space, but really no need to put it down. Like I said, well, he can't put it down, obviously, because he's, first of all, weak to Psychic, and he would just get blown up. Um, so there's another Buzzwell GX. He's just sending his deck out most, for this part, most likely. So, uh, energy deactive. We might see a Land's Wrath happening here. Okay. So, a metal. Well, if we use this, we'll grab a Stakataka. <clears throat> put down the Stakataka. Put a Metal G in this guy, and we're just going to Sekimore. We're looking for a Float Stone. Um, well, I guess we can Max Potion the active so we don't get knocked down next turn. And, um, we'll pass. Well, I guess we'll miss, no, I kind of keep, okay, I'm just gonna keep the hand right now. The hand's fine. The hand's fine. The hand's fine. The hand's fine. Okay. So, can you take a knockout? Um, Lance Red does 130, Deontay 150, so, no, he's not taking a knockout. But here we go. Here's an end. So, let's see. Can we finally find a way to retreat the Celesteela GX that's just chilling in the active spot? And we do. We find multiple ways to retreat it. All right. So there's a Buzzwell GX coming down. Um, I think I want to go after this Deontay, though. Trying to get rid of that plus 20. Seems very, very irrelevant. He can't get it back. I'm not too scared of the Buzzwell. Um, well, no. If he has... Okay, no. We're going to goose and bring up the Buzzwell. Take a knock on that. Okay. Do I need to be scared? I'm trying to figure out what I need to be scared of. Okay. What does this guy do? Okay. So some damage coming down. 110 onto our turn. We will Ultra Space... For a Nagana Dale, okay. Put down this guy. Guzma up his Buzzwall. Sin of the Nagadale. Uh, and we're gonna hold the metal energy right now. So I'm gonna base thing for the knockout. We do plenty of damage. We're doing 240. Go down to five price cards. We find a Popo. Popo guy. I just want to give his beast energy. I, I could have got rid of the Deontay, but then, like, his Sledgehammer activate. Oh, Sledgehammer actually doesn't activate here. Maybe we should have went the Buzzwell, actually. All right, so fighting energy to the Red Rock, okay. Hmm. It was weird. All right, so Invasion. Gonna send the Red Rock in? Guzma, okay. Gonna bring up the Celesteel. Take a knock on the Celesteel. Okay. All right, I like this play. Um, we need to find. Um, we need to find B-String very, very soon. Okay. So, we will Ultra Space. Hmm. For this? Okay. We'll put it down. We we'll use B-String. Get two metals. To this guy, attach a metal, floatstone, retreat, and sun eclipse GX. All right, so he goes down to three price cards. It gets rid of the Boswell thing, so Boswell is not going to work anymore. So go down to three. We should have this. We should have used that. Oh, a beast! Oh, a beast energy! Yeah! We can meter tip this next turn. Actually, we we'll just put energy on meter tip this and take a knock on whoever. Okay. We're looking good. We're looking real good, guys. That beast ring top deck. Who needs supporter cards when you just draw like a god? 
All right, Zygarde, some stuff coming down. Okay. Okay, whatever. I don't know what he just did. Oh, he, he used uh, Ultra Space to find whatever. <clears throat> yeah, we pretty much we just like Energy, Meteor Tempest, and then the Nagadel can take a knockout and pretty much whoever we want to. So, Field Boy, get rid of the Flowstone, get rid of the Ultra Space, which is fine for me. I can put down the Ultra Space back down. There's a strong energy going to Zygarde. Fear Belt going to the Zygarde and a Cynthia. Going to get a new hand of six. Yeah, I think the plan of action right now is to... Um, okay, here comes Red Rock. We're going to see a Hammer Arm. Do 110, 130, minus 20, so 110. Discard the Mysterious Treasure. There's a Beast Ring. But I don't think there's any metals in our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to fail. Yeah. All right, well, Ultra Space to thin our deck down. We'll grab another Sakataka. Okay. We'll Floatstone just to get rid of out of our hand. We'll Choice Band. Um, hold the Choice Band. Oh, no, no, no. We should have. Oh, we should have put the Floatstone here. Oh, man. Well, that's a little misplay. That's fine. All right, Meteor Tip is for the knockout. Yeah, go down to two price cards. He can maybe attack with the Zygarde this turn. That's pretty much it. So go down to a two. There's a DC, okay. Hmm, okay, okay, nothing. How much HP? 130, okay. Nagadel can take a knockout. There's a Zygarde coming down, okay. Strong energy. If he swings with Zygarde, uh, no, he don't take a knockout, okay. We're 20 damage short. We go that route. <gasps> no, we can use our. Oh, okay, never mind. No, that was fine. Fine. Max looks okay. Gonna fail. Um, we are at a beast. Uh, where are all of our beast strings are gone anyway? <gasps> Zygar coming a peacemaker for the knockout. Okay. We'll send up this guy. Hmm. We'll ultra space for Stakataka. We got three Stakatakas on the field. Super Rod. Should show back in three medals. Yeah, I mean, we're really not going to power up a Celestia at all. So we're going to put those three back in there. We're going to Synth get a new hand of six. All right. So. <clears throat> see here. What do we want to do, guys? What? How do we want to approach this? Um, Gigaton Stop could do 150. But then I kind of want to save it for for Nagadel. So put a Metal Energy in this guy. We'll just retreat. And swing for 120. Okay. <clears throat> On to our opponent's turn. The, the, the game plan is we top deck... Beast Energy, Beast Energy, Guzma, Choice Band, knock out the, the Nakrozma with the Nagadel GX. Another Strong Energy coming down, okay. 120, 140, 160, 190, 9, 8, 7, 6. So he's, he's never going to one-shot with the Zygarde. That's, that's impossible. All right, so Max Lixer. Hey, he, he can put a lot of pressure on us. That's for sure. Um... I mean, if we top deck Field Blower, we win because we just Field Blower and Guzma, take a double knockout. That's realistically what we want to do here. I know we got some, some Field Blowers left on deck, so 80 damage onto our turn, okay. There's that. Okay, so we will use this. Not going to grab anything. Okay. There's two Max Potions, so we'll do that. We will Ultra Ball, discard this guy and this guy. See here, so one choice spin. We'll grab a Lele. We'll put down choice spin and Cynthia. Okay. All right, so we got it. So we can max potion the active. Uh, I hate that we didn't find a field bar. Um, metal energy and beast raid for the knockout. Okay. Going out of one price card. There's a oh, there's a field blower. Jesus. Okay. 
So like I said, Zygarde, I don't think it took a knockout. 120, 140, 170, 17, 6, 5, 4. The most he did is 140. Um, he could knock out the Celestila, but if he does that, then he could activate a Lele for Guzma next turn, which he does not want to do. Because we could knock out that Ranguru or the, or the Deontay. Oh, actually, no. Oh, actually, get knocked out either one of these. Mmm. <gasps> interesting. Okay. But then he still has a two-shot us, so I don't think he really wants to do that either. Three, four, five, six. There's one metal left. Okay. There's a Guzma. Grunna's going to stock attack us. Sit up his Zygarde. Huh. Hmm. Okay, lands wrath here. All right, hundred and thirty. Max potion top deck. Okay, so we'll max potion this guy. What I'm scared about is this thing. Oh, is this thing? Is okay. Hammer Arm can't really attack next turn. So I'm gonna choice spin this guy. I'm going to field blower. Get rid of one and two. We're going to sick and we'll have one card left in deck. And we are going to attach a metal somewhere. We'll put on this. Well, we feel like we're proud of this Stakataka. And we'll press done. I know the last card of our deck is a beast energy. And we can beast energy Guzma and knock out the Dawn Wings of Krasma as long as he does not field blower both of our these things away. If he doesn't feel about both these, <gasps> he has zero cards as well. Oh no, into one. No, oh my goodness. Okay, I should have put a metal energy here because then we had DC tree. Oh no, there's Lele. <gasps> oh my god. Top deck Guzma, please. No, if we would attach the metal to the active, we could have retreated this turn. No, we lose now. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. <coughs> we should attach the energy to the active and we could have retreated Sakataka this turn. No, our three win streak. Oh. oh my goodness. There's nothing I can do with this hand. No. Oh my goodness. Alright, press done. I don't know what the heck just happened. How do we just lose? Um that's unfortunate. <laughs> Man. Yeah, there's Landra for the knockout. We had the plan. We had the beast like the beast energy play. We should attach the metal to that, that guy, but who's to say he didn't have a Guzma left in deck? I have no idea. Oh, my goodness. How many Guzmas does he play? We can't even see. But, guys, there we go. There's Stakataka Nagadel. Oh, man. That was, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate, unfortunately. Unfortunate, unfortunately. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. But there you go, guys. I, I think the deck is very interesting. I do like the concept that you keep max pushing energies away. It just kind of stinks when they just keep, like, hitting over and over again. Uh, one thing we might do is maybe play another Floatstone to have a more free retreat. Maybe a fourth Guzman. That could help us as well. But there you go. Like I said, check out Flipside Gaming for the article. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye.